Today I'm going to be showing off the Africa Now Great Hammer PvP build. This build is awesome for missed PvP. It is not the most burstiest PvP build. However, it is also not technically the most mobile build, but it has several crowd controls in both the uh, slowing charge and the tackle while also moving your character. And what this amounts to is it allows you to crowd control players while running away from them, which slows them down and makes it really hard for them to kill you. And you're in full plate. Now, personally, I don't have the item level, the enchantment level, uh, the mastery, or the specialization to fully show this build off, but I will show you how the engagements work. Checking out his streams, it's pretty obvious what he does. Essentially, if someone commits to a fight, he casts the Cultist Cowl on them. And uh, as they fight him, he uses Guardian Armor to reduce the damage he takes. He uses Sandals of Purity to chase or run away and to restore mana. And then he just uses the second Q ability on the Great Hammer, the Slowing Charge, the Lifesteal passive from what I can tell, and a uh, Pork Omelet. He also uses a Moose for the Fast Gallop. And so that he can um, just, uh, I guess, carry more stuff from all the loot he gets. And th the magic of this build is that it allows you to engage pretty much anyone in the game and run away when things aren't going your way. So if you're getting attacked by rats or someone else's, you can chase them down and finish them. If you're being attacked, you can just disengage every single build in the game and just leave. You can just leave the fight when it's not going your way. And then you can just regenerate your health because you're played armor, you have health regeneration. Uh, let's see, health regeneration bonus, yeah, there you go. And um, then you just go right back into the fight and <laughs> everything's peachy. So this... This is a legendary tier 7 yellow zone mist uh, that I'm PvP flagged in, so this turbulent mist will be worth something. Uh, but it is just a really hard build to 1v1, it's a hard build to chase down, it's a hard build to run away from. So this build, in my opinion, is very powerful and very good. If you check his murder ledger, it, you don't see deaths, he does not die. And yes, he is maximum spec 120 you know, he's at like 4.2 thousand HP. I'm only rocking 3.7, so I can get 500 more HP. And of course, I'm not going to deal much damage with the Great Hammer here. Or, okay, look at this guy. So we can just start attacking him. <laughs> and, uh, oh, he's just a little runaway build. So I could probably chase him, but he won't be able to, like, take me on, essentially. We got 15 seconds here. And, uh, yo, he's... Like, I could charge this dude. I could stun him with my E-Spell. I'm not very good at this build because I don't honestly play it. I missed. See, I'm not... I'm not going to be nearly as good as he as Africa now is. But, uh... <laughs> uh let's see if he dismounts on me. So we're just going to yoink that. There we go. And then walk it to this place. And he's going to escort me. And, yeah, we can just maybe do some stuff here. <laughs> there we go. Let's stun him. Hit him. <laughs> we're not going to dismount this guy with uh, any reasonable attacks. So, uh... But essentially, if he wants to challenge us, then, uh, <laughs> you know, we have the, a way to do that, essentially. But um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill anyone in this build, because I don't deal as nearly as much damage as Africa now does. Uh, so, <laughs> but it is, so I, I want to test its elusiveness and its ability to escape, and basically disengage fights, which is going to be really hard to find in a yellow zone, but this is a legendary yellow zone. So let's go ahead and turn in this legendary, or this is just a, a green wisp. There we go, 20k and 2,000 rep. Very nice. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to dismount this guy just because of how it is. But it's not a dismounting build. It is a stand-and-fight build. It's a disengage build. It's a chase-someone-down build. This build works when people are on foot because they're being attacked by rats or they're contesting a point. Not because they are, um, you know, on a mount and you want to dismount them. So, uh, essentially, you can only fight, you're, you can only really fight people that consent, but you can revoke your consent whenever you want. So, <laughs> this is a weird spawn for, um, for plants, for, uh, for fiber. And, you know, being a, uh, tier 7 zone, I'm not seeing anything but tier 5. Unfortunately, oh well, like, this is a tier 7 mob. You can see it's legendary because it's 21% stronger. And yes, your W and E abilities not only delay... The E stuns, the W slows, uh, and the Q spell, it just deals damage. It doesn't do anything special. It's just instant cast. And what the way it works is you do an auto attack into a Q spell. That way you're attacking twice. You don't open with a Q spell. Like, if I click on the, the mob here, 
and I push Q on him, it just attacks, right? Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's uh, let's see if we can fight uh, double swords man. That, that's gonna be a hard fight. See, he wants me to dismount him. Oh, dismounting already? And so as soon as he engages, I'm gonna hit him with my my, my cow. There we go. So he's gonna he's gonna start dropping his stuff on me and hit my W. And look at that, I'm just winning this fight. And I'm like I'm a six one or six two. Oh no, he's healing now. So at this point, I think I start running away. I think that's how we play this. We just we just leave the fight. That's the whole build. That's the whole premise. And this swordsman, he's gonna chase us. And there we go. I can drink a potion here. So I'm gonna actually stun him here, just like that. There we go. And uh, we have three seconds on our skill there, so we can just. Again, we can just dash away. It's fine. Totally fine. I got boots in three seconds. He's, he's coming for me, though. <laughs> and uh, see you later. So I can just run away and regenerate. So I don't have to fight. I don't have to fight any fight that I don't want to fight. And that's the great thing about this build. And I have most of my cooldowns back. I'm getting my HP back. So he's, us he's still using his boots. This guy is still trying to chase me. I'm way more mobile than he is. So <laughs> he's not going to be able to catch me, right? And um, if I path correctly, I can get far enough away to remount if I want to. But I can just re-engage him. I can just refight this guy. Like, my HP is basically back at this point. So I can just turn around and re-engage now. <laughs> and I can do this forever. So there we go. Let's uh, hit him with the cow. Make sure that, you know, <laughs> we're doing everything we can here. And the cow. See, like, right now we're winning the trade. So now he hits his reflect. I can just leave. And just leave the fight again. He's going to have to use his boots. If he catches up to me, I have a stun, a dash, I can get away again. He See, now that swordsman, who greatly outgears me, by the way, uh, has chosen... He, he knows he can't fight me. He knows he can't win, so he's given up. So if we were contesting a point, uh, contesting a chest, you know, like, it's 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 over before it begins. Oh, that's a, that's a real scary fight. I'm not fighting that person. That's a... That is a... Look at, look at him. I don't have... I don't have any words for that. I'm just leaving. I'm not fighting that person. <laughs> I don't have to. And I can still run from that, even though it's a bow user. I can still escape. No problems. So, let's, uh... Again, this this is a build. You don't have to fight anyone if you don't want to build. And I wish I could deal it, you know... Like, if I had the spec and an 8-3 or 8-4 Great Hammer, that Swordsman would have had zero chance against me. Uh, and, and of course, if I had 8-4 armor with actual... Like, I have no spec. I want to show you. I have, what, uh, Guardian Armor is 49. None of my other armors are leveled up at all. I, I literally have no spec in this. Same thing with, with my Great Hammer. My Mastery is not even 100. I can't wear Tier 8. Okay? And then I have nothing in Hammers. I have level, I have 48 in Great Hammer. I have a tiny bit, but it's not enough, okay? Uh, to be fighting people of that gear and that caliber and that spec. But, like I just showed you, they can't kill me. They just can't kill me. 1v1, they can't. Now, if he was like a blood letter, it would be harder to escape. And, and blood letters are like the only thing that can kind of maybe try to keep up with you. But at the end of the day, when you're fighting a blood letter, you will be able to run from one part of the zone all the way across and leave without being killed. You're in full plate. You can reduce their damage. You can, you can run them around for 18 seconds until you get out of combat and then just zone out. Like, you don't have to stay, you don't have to stay and die, you don't have to commit. It's uh, it's just a it's just a really useful build for running objectives. It's a useful build for, um, you, you can wear someone out. People will get impatient. A lot of the younger gamers will get super impatient and they will full commit and die. Now, this is a yellow zone, so it's people will commit most of the time anyway. Because uh, <laughs> it's just a repair build, you know, here, but... In, in the black zone, you know, after you've run someone around for, like, five to ten minutes, they, they're they just like, screw it, I just, just killed me already. Because they can't run, like, like they can't escape you. That's the thing. They just can't get away from you. And there, there is a Frost Staff build that can kind of almost get away from you, but in the end of the day, you slow them down, you, you can just, you can just hug them forever until they just, they're, they're just done with it. So I left the Legendary Mist there to join a, a Normal Mist, maybe we won't have 8.4... 120 spec bow of Badon users. Like, what do we have here? See, now this is a little something more my speed. Now, this is a baby fish that I could totally pick on. I won't be able to dismount him, though. Um, well, maybe. I don't know. If he just keeps riding with me, possibly. Hmm. It's super late at night, and there's a lot of movement going on, like, around me outside. It's kind of weird. 
But uh, regardless, you know, it's whatever. I'm not talking too loud. <laughs> Even though the walls are super paper thin. Should really record during the day. Oh well. Let's see now. Let's go find other people. Might be some fishermen we can bully, but essentially this build is just... It's just safe. I, I will say, though, I will caution that if you're a new player, that while this build looks really nice to play as, you're going to have a hell of a time faming this up, because Great Axe sucks at fame farming, okay? I believe he's a ZVZ guild leader, uh, Africa now, and that's how he funds his build, uh, to be able to have maximum spec and hammers, because he's probably, like, the main tank or shot caller for his guild. I don't really know. What do we have here? A little axe user. Now, see, that's a juicy-looking dude. Oh, the mob prevented him... Oh, that's not good. Are you running, bro? I can I can chase him. <laughs> like, he's gonna have to commit. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead and commit. You're a pretty geared dude. There we go. We'll stun him. Oh, we have another guy. And then I can just walk away. He can walk away. We got another guy here. Okay, I can, I can fight him. I can just beat on him if I want. What's he? He's a flat four warbow guy. See, I could chase this dude if I want. I'm at a disadvantage, but he's at a huge gear disadvantage. So let's just bonk him, let's start slapping. Hit him with the slow, why not? Hit him with the curse helmet, and he's just gonna go down. We can just charge him again, we can stick to him. He can't really do much. He can't even hurt us, we're full plate. You know, we have our aura. Look, I can just tackle him and he's down. This is just like the football build. <laughs> Uh, where's that other guy at, though? <laughs> we let him go. We could stick to him, too. But he started to get an advantage. You know, he was... Uh, the Battle Axe is one of the best brawling weapons, best 1v1 weapons in the game. It's really hard to kill. Unless I just tire him out and tucker him out and stuff like that uh, with this build. But the thing is, is I can just leave. If the fight's getting bad, I can just up and leave. I don't have to stay. And that's what makes it great. Whereas the Battle Axe, he's going to have to commit or run, commit to running away. And at the end of the day, this build will catch him. I did a video, uh, I, it's called the Mean Shock Battle Axe PvP build on my channel. So go check that out if you're looking for a Battle Axe build for the Mists. Super fun, super bursty, really useful, really good stuff. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we were going to check the water, actually, so let's go back down. See if we can catch anybody out doing some fishing. Let's see if we can catch anyone doing these little camps. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. All right. Let's see now. If we can just... Uh, fishermen are pretty slippery, by the way. They have a lot of escapes. So, uh, you know, we can just follow them. <laughs> this build... Now, I wouldn't say this build is like a, like a gathering ganker build. It's uh, it's just a really nice mist brawling build. It's... it's. Oh, here we go. Hello, fisherman. Are you a bot? No, you're that guy from earlier. I don't think I can catch him, though. Like, he's he's got his gallop going... See, like, we can, like, if I threw a potion here, I can maybe slow him down, but I'm not going to be able to dismount players with this build. It just doesn't have enough, like, burst. I'm, I'm like, I have one real attack, a stun, and a, and a kind of an attack and a slow. <laughs> not really going to be able to get him. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to hope that he runs through mobs and I dismount with my cooldowns or something. There's another guy here, but we can maybe get him. He might, he might, re he might mount up though. Let's see what's going on. Oh, he's, oh no, I missed. Slow. See, I am not, be I'm not going to be able to hit this dude at all. He's already galloping. <laughs> Little tier three dagger. What is this? What is this, dude? These guys are like, uh, is it a new account or something? You can't check their stats because they're mysterious stranger mode. This guy's dismount. Oh, oh, he's gathering. He's out here picking flowers. Apparently. <laughs> See, this is not this is not a gather ganking build, but you won't see these kinds of people in the Black Zone Mists. You're only going to see, like, hardcore PvPers that are out to kill each other. You don't really see gatherers in Black Zone Mists, honestly. You see them in the Yellow Zone because uh, it's good fishing here. It's absolutely great fishing. Not so great at gathering other things. Let's see if I can just run this dude down. And tackle. There we go. We got the tackle. We got the slow, but I don't deal enough damage. If I, maybe if I was max spec, you know, 8.4, I might have been able to, to dismount that. But I'm, I'm really not going to be able to dismount that at all. But, uh, you, you know, maybe. Maybe I can catch someone, you know, before they mount up. <laughs> We're just out here <laughs> pissing off the fishermen, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it, 
it's a pretty troll build when you think about it. You can just hit people and then just leave. It's like a, it's like this is the best build to play tag your it, you know, or whatever you want to call it. Here we go, mysterious fisherman, mysterious fisherman. Why are they fishing together? Are they multi boxing or some shit? And tackle that guy. So he's dismounted. We got him slowed. I'm gonna hit him with the curse helmet. He's AF. He's a bot. Maybe I don't know. He's just gonna die. Hello? Look, look, we we don't deal that much damage. We're just really annoying. Most of my damage comes from the. Uh... <laughs> oh, we can tackle that maybe. He's an open. Oh, there he goes. Oh, running away, are we? <laughs> running away, are we? That's fine. This is where we specialize because we can, we have these little movement abilities. So we're gonna hit him with the curse. <laughs> hit him with the stun. Slap him a little bit. I don't think this does anything, but I got another movement ability in one second that's about to be up. There we go, he's slowed. Bonk him. Down he goes. A little tier 6 gather. Again, it's... You gotta catch him with their mount off. There's no way to really dismount him, and I don't deal that much damage, but... It's just a, a really annoying build to fight against. <laughs> and it's the build that Africa now uses. What did we sell today? We sold... Um, Royal Sandals for 1.7 million. Cool. Very cool stuff. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little bit more silver there. Awesome stuff. Very cool. Anyway, uh, that's the build. It's a silly build. It's a fun build. It's an annoying build. It's a build that, um, if you happen to be, like, a tank for a ZVZ, I guess. Or if you, if you just see this build in the mists, it's probably just Africa now. I don't think anyone else runs this build. My person- Oh, that guy's about to die. Look at him. That dude was wounded. That guy was, he's a little juiced. He's a little juiced. What's going on, dude? Oh, uh, I wish I could dismount and just, oh, what's he doing? Are you really stopping? Oh, please get hit by mobs. That would be so funny. Yeah, I have no way to chase that. <laughs> anyway, that's the build. I am Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, we road stay soul right down here at the very bottom where my cursor is bouncing. There is a join button. It is $5 a month. Uh, what it is, it's like on Twitch. When you subscribe to someone on Twitch, you pay them five bucks. Here on YouTube, it's called channel membership. You pay me five bucks. I get half of that. YouTube gets the other half. And what happens is you get access to private, more personal videos. You get access to guides, advanced guides, flipping guides. Guides that are too good for the public. Let's try our luck here at this chest before we end the video. Okay. So, um... <laughs> If you, um, here's the thing, I have like 200 channel members, only like 40 of them watch the, the members only videos, most of them just do it to support me, which is totally fine, and the of the people that do watch it, most of them are super rich, so they don't even really use the videos for, you know, to make money or whatever, so it's, you will absolutely be able to make money uh, in this game if you follow those guides. I'm gonna totally attack, oh, I unflagged, I unpvp flagged, so I can't just smash into him. <laughs> So this dude wants to fight, and that's totally fine. Uh, I don't know if I can fight him. He is item average item power twelve eleven. My average item power is fifteen sixty two. So I I do win that. That dude is not a of threat at all. So what do we do? We got one minute until well this thing activates. <laughs> this dude with such a little tier three dagger. It's so troll. Watch him switch to an eight four set like right before the PVP starts or something silly. Oh, we got a flag guy. Oh, that's Mr. Swordsman from the other mist. All right, well, he's the big fish. I'm not going to waste my time or y'all's time. Well, maybe I can just hang out and just hang out. Remember, we're an annoying build. <laughs> we are an annoying build. Uh, I don't think the chest would be worth the repair bill to me. Uh, the Swordsman, I can't kill him. If me and this, like, I can't type to these people either. So we'll see what happens. So they're going to, oh, they're, they're freaking fighting. Yeah, I have 10 second cooldown. So I got to like run around. He's going after me, look! Look at him. Okay, we got our cooldowns back. We'll smash the sword guy. We gotta work as a team here, man. <laughs> and tackle. Get him, boys. Yeah, get him. Here. Oh, don't hit me, bro. What the fuck? What are you doing? Yeah, get the sword guy. Sword guy's trying to clean out the rats. All right, we'll let, we'll let the dagger guy get it. Ugh, tackle. That's right. We got five minutes to fight, bro. <laughs> I'm just hitting him with everything I've got. Oh, he's running. I'm running after him. Because I, I, I can do that. Boink. Tackle. Smack. Tackle. Smack. Curse him. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. He's got his reflect up. Oh, no. <laughs> and we'll slow him and walk away. Oh, what? Did you see that rubber banding, though? 
All right, so obviously both of us are low health. I can just leave. I can just walk away, or I can check the chest. Oh, what you doing there, buddy? No. Yeah, get him. <laughs> and curse. <laughs> this is my chest. You can't hit me while you while you're cursed, dude. Oh, let's see if the dagger guy hits me. No, I was. So, oh, I got it. I got it. Kind of. I'm, I'm dying, but I got it. And see y'all later. I am the best build for running away from this. Bro, I can just... Does he really want to commit? I'll just smack him. Thanks for the 559 silver. That was stupid. Why would he chase me? I was leaving. I was leaving that fight. Well, there you go. This build just prevailed. <laughs> we got a 64,000 chest. Now we can end the video. <laughs> and look at that. We even beat the 8-3 sword guy, even though it was me and the 5-3... Uh, whatever the spear is. The Trinity spear. Pretty sure that's what that was. But yeah. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I read every comment. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. On the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. It's a good one. And uh, you won't reg re yeah, regret it. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. See y'all? Where is the damn exit? It's on... Okay, here it is. It's on the damn map. But yeah, good stuff. Fun build. Would recommend. If you have the spec for it.